Since becoming paralyzed from the waist down in a car accident seven years ago, Agnes Faraday never thought she would be able to stand on her own again and walk. Lost something which you have before, that's the worst feeling in my life. And how did it feel when you got to walk again? <laughs> that's the best feeling. With the help of the device called the Rewalk, the 37-year-old woman originally from Hungary says this takes little effort. So Agnes, is it difficult to walk with this device? No, not at all. And, and do you feel pain or, or pressure in any way? No, I don't feel that. I mean, any kind of pain, any kind of pressure. Only in the last five years has the technology been available to construct an exoskeleton robotic walker, which was first created for a completely different purpose. Originally, um, our government and other governments invested in this kind of technology to allow soldiers in very difficult conditions to have more stamina, go further, go faster, kind of like Iron Man. Soon it was realized that people with paralysis would benefit. With the rewalk, Agnes can climb stairs, get in and out of cars, and walk on her own. And her overall health has already improved. I mean, if you think about Christopher Reeve, he died very young of a bed sore. Hopefully, devices like this, people won't get skin breakdown anymore because they'll be up and about. The device has not been approved by the FDA yet, so Agnes cannot take the $90,000 piece of equipment home. But that day may be coming soon. Europeans with paralysis are already using the devices at home, and Agnes says even if that doesn't happen here, her dreams have already come true. I'm walking. I'm walking again. That's what I, I said for them. I will show them I will walk again. In Downey, Melissa Maynerich, KCAL 9 News.